Okay, so we're gonna show how to get in from DC into the AC mode, and then we're gonna actually change between the three different uh, waveforms. So it's really simple on this machine right now. It's currently in DC negative um, because I am TIG welding and I want to go ahead and change the AC. It's literally a click of a button, turn AC on and we are now in AC. From there we can scroll down and we can use AC easy, soft AC and triangular AC. So AC easy is the square wave. Um, a soft AC is more of a conventional square wave where it's a little bit rounded. You still get the flat part at the top where you're spending some time in that peak amperage. And then our triangular is literally like a triangle where we are reaching that uh, peak amperage but only for a small period of time. And then we're putting less heat input on the actual base metal. So that's why we would actually use triangular, but for now we're going to go ahead and go AC easy, which it's actually already on, um, but we can we can select here, you can hit modify, and then select whether you want AC easy, soft AC, triangular, and then you can do your asymmetric uh, changes if needed. I'm going to go back to the home, and I'm going to make sure I have enough amperage here and we're good to go. So this is going a lot slower because it's triangular. I turned it up like 10 amps, but it's still kind of sluggish. But the whole triangular, you really only hit your peak for like a millisecond. And then All right, so we are comparing a lap weld with the square, soft, and triangular waveforms. Uh, square is, again, the default mode for this machine. Uh, you can see the amount of etching that took place on the ends. Um, it, it actually came out really smooth. This is a, a really, probably the most common uh, waveform that, that welders are using. Uh, this is more of a traditional square wave where it's a little bit softer. You can hear it. Uh, when you were actually making the, the weld between these two. Uh, this is a lot softer. It's, uh, it wets out really easily, easy to dip. Um, so not a huge difference when you're looking at the two, but when you're actually uh, making the weld, you'll, you'll notice it in the puddle. 
And then here on the triangular, uh, probably not the, the prettiest weld you're looking at. I forgot to actually change the amperage. Um, and the thing you want to remember with triangular is that it's actually going to weld somewhat like a triangle where you're only spending a little bit of time at the peak, uh, positive and negative. And with that being said, uh, there's less heat input, so I should have actually jacked up my amperage a little bit. I was kind of letting it just kind of wet out on its own, but it was, it was a little bit sluggish, so that's something to remember. Uh, but typically, you would use your triangular more on thin materials than you would something like this. This is, I don't know, probably about 330 second thick. Uh, so, you know, I would use this probably on something thinner, maybe a 16th or thinner than that on aluminum. Uh, but that kind of explains a little bit between the three uh, waveforms.